Behind me, you can see the rotating element from a 165 megawatt generating unit. But when it's spinning at over 150 RPM and weighing over a million pounds, the physical forces on it can be extreme. The better we can understand and measure the vibrations and electrical forces that are on this unit, the longer we can keep it in service. When we're looking at our units and how they're operating, we're looking at vibration, cavitation, possible temperature measurements. That power to the instrumentation on the shaft, there is a direct link between the shaft, the turbine runner, and the generator. Without having the continuous power for these devices, we're limiting the amount of data that we can capture. Basically, we're limited to, to uh, temporary installations and we're unable to permanently install these sensors to receive real-time information while the equipment's operating. Because outages are so rare on the equipment that we maintain, the ability to have direct current available continuously to a rotating element like a rotor can really save us downtime and allow us to provide reliable power and water deliveries year-round. Presently, when we're looking at powering these sensors on the rotating shafts, typically we're using battery systems, but those batteries are limited in size and the weight of the battery as it gets heavier puts constraints onto the banding that we're using to attach it. If we were to go to slip rings or uh, other induced voltage methods, the setup time is prohibited, so it's not very easy to set up. It takes multiple outages. There's an issue with safety. Um, these shafts spin at high speed. You know, there are G-forces associated with anything with mass attached to that shaft. So the ideal solution for this challenge would be something that is compact, robust, and easy to install and maintain, but that provides reliable data collection for our sensitive equipment. So allowing for continuous power on a rotating shaft, uh, our units could be better maintained and making it possible to predict failures before they occur. Uh, an unscheduled outage can cost reclamation up to $700,000 per day. I think a, a price challenge really taps into different skill sets and different people. By partnering with the Army Corps of Engineers, we feel that we're able to put forth a prize competition that's broad enough to be able to be utilized within the hydropower community, uh, not only within the United States, but also around the world.